Hello guys, from this video I am starting a new video series on WPF application using C Sharp. So first question comes into mind is till now we have been uh, seeing or I have been showing you how to make windows form application using C Sharp and why do we need WPF uh, application using C Sharp. So, Windows form application uh, when we see uh, like this and when I run it it takes the styling and the appearance of the Windows version you are running for example I'm running Windows 7 so it takes the look and feel of Windows 7 window but some application requires uh, design uh, designing their own uh, design right so for achieving that goal uh, we use windows form application of course there are all other uh, application of all other advantage of using windows form application and as well as advantage of using uh, WPF application so if you want to learn more about what is the difference between Windows form application and uh, WPF then you can always google it and I come across the first link which is from Microsoft and somebody answered the question WPF versus Windows form application and when I click it you can see the nice explanation he has given what is the difference between or what is the uh, why they are used but this answer is uh, I mean given in was given in 2007 so till now Windows form application and WPF also have been evolved a lot so you can always go and read this uh, difference between them and decide what suits your application so now too much talking and now we are going to make our first program so go to file new project and go to visual c sharp and we will choose wpf application and i will call my application as WPF app 1 and I will click OK and one thing you will notice is it's the design or the appearance of this form is not as the form which we have generated in Windows form right so it's a little bit different I will just make it little bit bigger so you can see so it generates this form in which we can design our application view and it also generate this XAML file which in which we can write the code for designing this uh, form so let's see how this changes when you design something so what I will do is first of all I will make it a little bit smaller so you can see here and here is also one good feature you can always make it bigger by sliding this slider okay so now I will take a button from here and now for example I want to change the properties so what can I, can I do is I will just click this button and go to the properties right here or I can change it from here also so when I drag and drop a button in the grid tag it has generated this code automatically so the content or the caption of this button is button and uh, it has horizontal alignment on margin and all all the properties are generated in this XAML file right 
so you can change it from here also and you can change go to the properties and change it from here also so let's try and change first the content content is the caption so for example test i write as a content and here it changes here now for example i want to change the name i can go here in the button code this code is for the button and i can change the name so i can give the name as btn1 for example and see here when i change the width the width also width and height also changes here so whatever you change here it will be affected here and whatever change you make here here it will be affected here so both are changed if you make changes in one file or one one perspective so now we want to do something with this test button so i will double click it you can always go to the event and go come here from going to the event i will show you that also so i double click the button and for example i want to show the message so i will write message it's just like uh, using the windows form application there also we write message box dot show and here is the first app for example and test first app test okay so i will make it bigger so you can see it so i have written this code now i can just hit this green button start debugging and it opens this form so you can see it's the appearance is totally white and when i click this button it shows me the message box right here so this was the first application you generated from your wpf application you can always change this properties of this button or this form by going to the properties or from here also so just click it and for example i want to change you can change the layout from here you can change the visibility from here and brush from here so for now i want to change the foreground and background for example background black is okay for me and uh, foreground black is okay for me and background for example i want to change it a little green okay so it changes this color and when i run this now it looks green so you can select and see all the properties from here how they changes you can always play with these properties and see what changes occurs here so this was the first uh, video on wpf application in the future i will also make some other videos and probably i'm going to make a simple project so if with each video we will develop a project and you will be able to learn more so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now